Aisha, thank you. Since the news broke about the officers being shot and being treated at the hospital, support has been pouring in across the nation on all platforms for Houston police. This morning, ahead of a budget meeting, the Harris County Commissioner's Court thanked law enforcement for their courage and efforts to keep our city safe. I see a lot of uh, folks here from law enforcement, so I want to, before we start, just extend a thank you to all of you for the work that you do uh, to all of law enforcement, because you truly make a sacrifice and your families make incredible sacrifices as it, as it uh, became clear last night. So thank you. Um, Members also thank the county and other law enforcement for jumping in to help during this time and making sure no gap was, gap was left unfilled. Stay with Channel 2 for continuing coverage on this shooting. We'll bring you updates on the officer's conditions and new details on the suspects as we learn them. Look for the latest on air and online at click2houston.com. The U.N. investigator looking into the death of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi is waiting to enter the kingdom's consulate in Istanbul. She wants to meet with Saudi authorities, but the country has yet to approve her request. Khashoggi was a Washington Post columnist living in the United States. He was killed in October at the Saudi consulate. U.S. intelligence think the Saudi prince ordered the attack. A Muslim family in Katy believes their house was riddled with bullets twice because of their religion. Surveillance video captured the most recent incident on Sunday night at the home in the Oaks of Freen Trail subdivision. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum has their story. Watch this window carefully. Those are bullets ripping through the glass and right into this Katy home that's filled with kids. Like this is the second time they uh, shot in my house. On this usually quiet street, twice now in about a month, somebody's fired shots into this house. It's owned by a Muslim family. And so the questions are why? And could this be a hate crime? You think that may be it because you're a Muslim family? Um, I believe. Well, at this point, it has not been officially classified as a hate crime. We are looking into it as such uh, as we will look into all aspects of it. Regardless of the motivation, this is a family with four kids and 13 bullets entered the house Sunday night from a walking path behind the Oaks of Green Trail subdivision. Somebody had brought a ladder to fire nine millimeter rounds over the fence. Now watch as dad Zayad Albayadi fights back, shooting from his back patio 10 o'clock at night. This is very crazy. The same thing happened to this family Christmas Day from the front of the house. The shots came from this unidentified coop at the top of your screen. And then less than two weeks ago, a nearby Katy Mosque was shot at too. It's not clear if that incident's connected, but this is a big worry for this father of four. I like you now to live in peace. Okay, and this is the U.S., the American for everybody. In Katy, Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Deputy constables have collected some evidence from Sunday's crime scene, including the ladder that was left behind. All right, we are checking on our forecast, which has taken a major turn from just a day ago. I know, ago. that front was moving through last night about 10 o'clock. It was followed by heavy winds. I even heard Rain. a couple of booms of thunder as well as I was getting on. home last night. Quite mm -hmm. the winter wake up for us. Nice and quiet now though. Quiet out there now, but now we're seeing, you see the jiggle on the camera here on the tower cam. So wind has started to pick up and that's gonna be the case for the rest of the day today. 46 out there now. We're looking at sunny skies, the humidity. That's not gonna be a factor. It will as we get later into the week, but right now we're doing okay. Look at that north northeast wind right now at about 30 13 miles an hour. Feels like temperatures, they're in play just a bit. It's a few degrees cooler, at least what it feels like as you get out there. Obviously nothing like we're seeing in the upper Midwest. I'll have more on that coming up in just a couple of minutes, but pretty strong north wind there. 45 in Katy, 45 in Galveston as well. Just about everyone sitting in the mid 40s under those sunny skies. A little bit of cloud cover that's trying to move its way in from the west. That will actually help to insulate things as we get later on this evening, but notice the big story with that front has already shifted its way over and across across the southeast. In fact, trucking pretty good, but look at the snow all the way down there as you get into what's, let's say, Asheville, North Carolina. So a lot of that cold air continues to spill in. Speaking of cold, look at this. Current temperatures at seven below. That's the actual air temperature in uh, Minnesota, and those wind chills are really going to start impacting much of the Great Lakes region as we get in towards tonight and early tomorrow. We'll talk about that. So for the rest of this afternoon, top it out right around 48 to about 50 degrees, and then we'll slowly back it 
off. Now, here's the thing. It's going to get in the 30s again as we get to tomorrow morning, but that cloud cover may actually help keep a degree or two up, uh, so we may not see as cold as what we saw this morning in spots, but if you're headed out for lunch or this afternoon just out and about, definitely make sure you've got the jacket. It's sunny but chilly out there. No problems with the rush heading home this evening. And then, of course, as we get into the latter half of the work week, we really start to see those temperatures move up pretty quickly. In fact, we're going to be talking 60s and 70s very soon. Sian, we'll get into that and the rest of your work week forecast right ahead. All right, Justin, see you soon. Remember, you can track the forecast anytime. Just download Frank's free forecast weather app. Search KPRC in your Apple or Android app store. Apple is rushing to fix a security flaw in one of its most popular apps. That apparently allows other people to eavesdrop on your iPhone. A number of users online have been able to use it to listen in on other people's phones without them knowing about it. NBC's Joe Fryer reports. FaceTime David Dunlop. This morning, a sour note for Apple, the phone giant temporarily disabling its group FaceTime app after users discovered a troubling bug. The glitch allows iPhone users to secretly listen in on the person they're calling without the recipient actually accepting the call. The problem revealed in reports that went viral overnight, raising serious privacy concerns. Launched in October of 2018, the group FaceTime feature allows up to 32 people to participate in a single audio or video call, but experts say the malfunction is easy to execute. All an iPhone user has to do is call someone using FaceTime, tap the add person function, and then their own phone number. Before the recipient has the chance to accept or reject the call, say something. Can you hear me now? Audio from the recipient's phone then streams to the caller. This is so not, weird. This is not okay. <laughs> According to various reports, if the recipient hits the phone's volume down or power buttons, thinking the call has been declined, another curious bug kicks in. The recipient's audio cuts out, but the caller can suddenly monitor that person's camera. I think those are, you know, pretty terrifying things for people who are very concerned about their, their privacy. Nicole Wen, a tech reporter for BuzzFeed, says there is a simple fix. People should disable FaceTime as quickly as they can, or else they expose themselves to, to bad actors calling them and listening in on their conversations or accessing their front-facing camera without their consent. Overnight, Apple quickly disabled the group FaceTime app, adding in a statement, we're aware of this issue and we have identified a fix that will be released in a software update later this week. Apple CEO Tim Cook has long portrayed the company as a protector of user privacy, offering more secure devices than its rivals. At the recent electronics show in Las Vegas, Apple even posting this huge billboard that reads what happens on your iPhone stays on your iPhone. They're going to have to apologize and double down on security practices to make sure that something at this scale doesn't happen again. If you're running iOS 12.1 or later and want to disable FaceTime until there's an update, just go to the settings on your iPhone, tap FaceTime, and then toggle it off. A chase in North Houston ended with officers shooting a man who allegedly threatened a homeowner. We're told the driver of this Honda showed up to the man's home and began honking and then threatening him. That man tells us the driver allegedly nearly hit his daughter with the car. Instead of reversing on my driveway, he goes forward. Then my daughter's like not even three feet away from the front bumper. My wife pulled her out in the air, literally by her arm. And just, you know, by a little bit, by two, three feet, he would have ran over my daughter. The driver eventually peeled out of the driveway and an officer tried to pull him over. That man refused commands, according to police. And at some point, an officer shot him in the shoulder. The suspect then got into a fight with the officer and took off running. He was eventually caught, arrested, and taken to the hospital. Right now, voters in District 145 are heading to the polls for a special election. They will elect a candidate to replace Carol Alvarado. She won a seat in District 6 last month in last month's special election. The polls will be open today from 7 to 7 for registered voters. There are eight candidates in this special election, six Democrats, one Republican, and one Libertarian. Well, Super Bowl 53 will be here before you know it, and football fans are ready. Oh, yeah. Coming up, we'll look back at all the hoopla that took place on the big game's big day. Before we get to that, though, we've got the Harlem Globetrotters in the house. How they're going to honor a historic event that took place right here in Harris County. I'm Tony Casillas. Back when I was playing football in Dallas, the strong arm was already helping auto accident victims get justice. If you've been hurt in a wreck, call Long Car Associates, the strong arm. Call 800, then all sevens. 
If the windows in your home have seen better days, then it's time to call us here at Belden Windows. We're your Pella Platinum Certified Contractor, installing durable, high-performance Pella windows with classic styles and supreme durability. It's a great time to call during our winter saving sale. Look at this. Ask about low 4.99% special financing. It's so affordable. Plus receive a $500 Visa gift card with your purchase and a free gift with your in-home estimate. Having moderate to severe plaque psoriasis is not always easy. It's a long distance journey and you have the determination to keep going. Humira has a proven track record of being prescribed for over 10 years. Humira works inside the body to target and help block a specific source of inflammation that contributes to symptoms. Most adults taking Humira were clear or almost clear, and many saw 75% and even 90% clearance in just four months, and the kind of clearance that can last. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Join over 250,000 patients who have chosen Humira. Ask about the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists. Humira and go. You've been in a wreck with an 18-wheeler. Now, you're fighting their insurance company. Who do you have pulling for you? You need Lawn Car Associates, the strong arm. Call 800, then all sevens. Offices in Houston and throughout Texas. This Thursday, Will and Grace return with special guest Chelsea Handler and the moment they thought would never happen. Whoever this ring fits is my soulmate. It fits! Will and Grace at its new time, 9.30, 8.30 Central on NBC. <laughs> He's won an Emmy, a Grammy, a Tony, even an Oscar. And now, he's going to be the new coach. Is this fun, guys? John Legend joins The Voice, February 25th on NBC. Now I'm worried. All right, the Harlem Globetrotters are here in town, but not just here to entertain fans on court. They are also here to honor some women in Harris County who made history during our last election. And joining us to talk more about it, we have El Gato Melendez. And one of the team's star women, Torch George. Hey guys, hey. welcome. Welcome How to Houston. Good to, Good to hear you. I'm doing well. So let's talk about this tour. It's called the Fan Power yes. World Tour. You're getting more fans involved than ever before. How are you doing that? Well, uh, imagine you can go to your favorite uh, basketball team game, right? And you can go to the coach and say, hey, coach, my son want to see a 360 dunk. Can you do that for me? And he will look at you and say, yeah, I got you. <laughs> so that's exactly, that's exactly the type of uh, interaction we're going to have. You know, uh, we always been famous by making, you know, going up as a stand yeah. to interact with people. But this year, we are giving way more power to the fans. Even too. a little baby there we see. Yeah, yeah this is a lion thing, you know. We, we're going to have so much fun. I mean, we're going to have some of the old school stuff, you know, like the confetti, the bucket of water, but the interaction with the crowd is going to be amazing. So it's going to be a party for everybody. All right, and Torch, one of the star women on the team. Talk about how that feels to be a role model for so many young girls, especially in this era. A lot of people calling it another year of the woman yeah. uh, happening right now. It's empowering, you know, to be able to not only travel in, in the United States, but internationally and inspiring young girls to chase their dream and to believe in whatever goal and dream they have. And speaking yeah. of strong, empowered women, you guys are actually going to be here honoring a group of African-American women all elected to judgeships in Harris County this year. Talk about, to us about that event. So it was 17 female judges. Um, November 18th uh, of last year, uh, they were elected, and, and, and what an amazing uh, accomplishment. I mean, they're inspiring women who want to be judges. Mm -hmm. um, so we're kind of like the same. I inspire them on the court, and yeah. it's going to be amazing to meet them. And, um, and for us as Harlem Globetrotters, you know, we are been famous for breaking gender barriers. You know, we the first female to play professional basketball was a Harlem Globetrotter in 1985, started with Leonard Woodard, mm -hmm. you know, breaking the race barrier mm -hmm. by, you know, mixing it in uh, the whole basketball world with everybody in, in one arena. Back mm -hmm. in the days, you used to have to play from one side and from the other side, so now everybody's just having a good time. The first African-American uh, NBA uh, uh, player came from the Harlem Globetrotters in the 1950s. So a lot of history. We've yeah. been breaking barriers, gender barriers, race barriers through the years, and, and for us to have this honor to 
to be with them. It's going to be an amazing time. I cannot wait to meet them. And it's happening later this afternoon. All right, so we know we want to see some of the, the cool moves, the fast oh. tricks that you can do from sitting here on the couch, guys. So let's take it back live. Oh, whoa, whoa. Huh? Wait a minute. What? Oh, you the, the spin? finger spin. The finger you spin. Look like you want to spin? spin? Come on, toss it over. Toss it over. <laughs> oh, it's not going to. I don't know. That's a word. There you go. I got skills. Jobs, Thank you, got. you guys so Love much. Oh, oh, wow. Torch, thank you for coming. You can see the Houston, uh, the Houston Globetrotters. We wish you were. <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters at the renovated Fertitta Center at UH. Ticket information available for you on the screen starting Friday, February 15th. All right, guys.